Hello and welcome to our 14th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. Today we're going to dive deep into the world of Lambda sensors. Whether you're a beginner or just curious, we'll keep it simple and easy to understand. We'll explore what they are, how they work, and why they are crucial for your vehicle's performance. See description for links to the playlist. Let's get started. First, let's understand what a Lambda sensor is. A Lambda sensor, also known as an oxygen sensor, is a device that measures the amount of oxygen in the exhaust gases of an engine. It helps the engine control unit, ECU, adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimal performance. Now why is this sensor important? Well, it plays a crucial role in fuel efficiency and emissions control. By providing accurate readings, the Lambda sensor helps ensure that the engine burns fuel efficiently, which reduces harmful emissions and improves fuel fuel economy. In simple terms, a good Lambda sensor keeps your engine healthy and the environment cleaner. First, let's briefly recap what a Lambda sensor is. Think of it as a breath monitor for your car's engine. Just like how we need the right balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide to breathe well, your engine needs the right air-fuel mixture to run efficiently. Now, let's break down how the Lambda sensor works, step by step. The Lambda sensor is usually located in the exhaust system, either before or after the catalytic converter. Imagine it as the watchman that checks the air coming out of the engine. When your engine burns fuel, it produces exhaust gases. The Lambda sensor measures the amount of unburned oxygen in these gases. It does this by having a special material inside it that reacts to oxygen levels. Once the Lambda sensor measures the oxygen levels, it sends a signal to the engine control unit, ECU. Think of the ECU as the brain of your engine. It needs information to make smart decisions. If the Lambda sensor detects too much oxygen, it tells the ECU that the mixture is too lean more air than fuel. If there's too little oxygen, it indicates a rich mixture, more fuel than air. The ECU then adjusts the fuel injectors to ensure the right balance. This is similar to how a chef adjusts spices in a dish to get the perfect flavor. The Lambda sensor doesn't just take one reading and stop. It continuously monitors the exhaust gases, sending real-time information to the ECU. This way, the engine can adapt quickly to changes, just like how we adapt to changes in temperature by wearing different clothes. Let me give you a real-life example. Imagine you're driving in the city, stopping and going due to traffic. Your engine has to work harder during acceleration and relax during stops. The Lambda sensor is like a smart assistant that helps the ECU adjust the fuel mixture on the fly, ensuring your car runs smoothly and efficiently in different conditions. Now you might wonder, why is all this important? Well, a well-functioning Lambda sensor helps in several ways. Fuel efficiency. By ensuring the right air-fuel mixture, it helps you save money on fuel. Reduced emissions. It helps your vehicle produce fewer harmful gases, keeping our environment cleaner. Engine performance. It keeps your engine running smoothly, preventing issues that could lead to expensive repairs. Thus, the Lambda sensor is a vital component of your vehicle's engine management system. By measuring oxygen levels in the exhaust and sending this information to the ECU, it ensures your engine runs efficiently, saves fuel, and reduces emissions. There are mainly two types of lambda sensors. Zirconia sensor. This is the most common type. It generates a voltage based on the oxygen level in the exhaust. Titania sensor. This type changes its resistance according to the oxygen levels. It requires a separate power source. Both types serve the same purpose, but work in slightly different ways. So how do you know if your Lambda sensor is failing? Here are some signs to watch for. Poor fuel economy. If your vehicle is using more fuel than usual, it might be due to a faulty sensor. Check engine light. If this light comes on, it could indicate an issue with the Lambda sensor. Rough idling. If your engine is running unevenly, it could be a sign of a malfunction. Increased emissions. If your vehicle fails an emissions test, it might be due to a faulty Lambda sensor. If you suspect your Lambda sensor is faulty, you can test it yourself. Here's how. You'll need a multimeter and basic tools to access the sensor. Find the Lambda sensor in your vehicle's exhaust system. Carefully unplug the sensor from its connector. Set your multimeter to measure voltage. Start the engine and observe the voltage readings. A healthy sensor should show varying voltages as the engine runs. If it stays constant or shows no voltage, it might be faulty. Don't forget to reconnect the sensor after testing. To summarize, the Lambda sensor is essential for a well-functioning engine, helping with fuel efficiency and emissions control. By understanding how it works and how to test it, you can keep your vehicle in great shape 
And that's it for today. We hope this video helped you understand the lambda sensor and its importance. In the next video, we'll be diving into the transmission temperature sensor. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Click the link in the description to watch the full playlist on automotive sensors and continue learning more about your car. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more automotive tutorials. Thank you for watching, and drive safely.